going into the windmill. Come on, let's go in here. Go ahead. The cat runs to the road. As a result, you only need to look at the cat to the wind. A sturdy cat to the wind is inserted at the bottom of the table. The is going to go down. It's going to turn by. The sails are either early or partly changed depending on the wind. This is where they would live. To stop the mill, the wind is going to be punished. This braking system operates exactly the same manner as the brakes on a car. The brake is situated on the outside of the other wheel. Do you? Where are their beds, Bella? Where would they sleep? <gasps> In there? Look, here's a picture of a family who, who ran the windmill, Bella. You see? This is the picture of the family? Yeah. See the wooden shoes? Do you know that's something that the famous one here is wearing shoes? The mill landscape of Kinnadeg, comprising a total of 19 green drainage mills why are they doing that? Well, I suppose your feet would not get is wet. Isn't really unique, that but it's unrivaled for its beauty. The mills of Waterboard District in Nederbart are stone smock wind mills built in 1638. Whereas those of Waterboard District, the Overmart, and the New Leckerland border, yeah, let's are stunning octagonal smoke windmills dating back to the Yep. Why do I play? There's some people. Yep, you go up. It's okay. One at a time, one at a time, we're Lucas. Wait for Bella. Bella, here, use the handrail right here. Go. Yeah, look, this is where the kids would probably sleep. See? See them getting into their bed? Huh? Yep. This is where they would probably sleep, is in here. There would be two or three children who would sleep in there. And they down there, too. Yeah, and that's probably where the grown-ups would sleep. That's probably where the grown It's cozy up here. Mm hmm Thanks to the radiator. Yeah. Do you see the pajamas? Uh, did you see their pajamas? Mm hmm. They're on the wall. I see, I see the mother's dog. Don't feel that. Yeah, do you think you and Luki and Aurelia could all sleep in there? Yes. Yeah, I think you could probably fit in there pretty comfortably right now. Mm -hmm. When you get bigger, though, that would be a little bit more, a little bit more challenging, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Hey, really? <laughs> yep, you're clear. I'm really afraid of Up. Uh, this. Uh,
Yeah. No, this one, Bella, this way. Right here. Yeah, hold on to the handrail, please, Luki, right here. Lucas, hold on to the handrail, please. There you go. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna push you. We're almost at the top of the windmill. Oh, look, this is how they would make it go. You see, Luki? See? Yep. See the the windmill spins and it turns all the gears so that the water wheel underneath can move the water. Watch, here comes the water wheel. Can move the water out of the dike and into the uh, canal. See? All of this would be moving. Huh? See? There's the water wheel, Bella. See? And it would be moving the water out. See? See the water moving? And you'd hear this whole building go creak. Creak, creak all the time. See? There it is. See? Now it's moving the water out of the fields so that they can drain them. There, see? That's a neat Do you want to go? I think we can go. We can't go any higher, I don't think. Unless one of these goes up. I think they're all closed off. Yeah, they're all closed off. You can just look up here. Okay. Can't really see much. Wow, look at that. Lucas, did you want to go up and see? Are you going up, Bella? Okay. No, the what? That's where the windmill moves around and turns the big gears to move this big piece of wood right here, in the center.